Welcome to the Ogles channel. Thanks for watching today. Let's talk about the best strategy to defeat the putrid tree spirit at the Lake of Rot in Elden Ring. Now, first off, the Lake of Rot is like the worst area in the game. I really dislike it for um, a lot of reasons, obviously mainly because of the uh, continual scarlet rot effect, but it's just also just so crowd of enemies. But anyway, as soon as you head down there, you want to go ahead and take out these little fellas here because the last thing you want to do when you're fighting this putrid uh, tree spirit is to deal with any of these other smaller bad guys and these are really annoying uh, creatures to deal with so go ahead and take them out and then there's actually another couple ones that you need to take out prior to the engagement but you want to make sure every single one of these is dead at least on this side of the arena before uh, attacking the ulcerated tree spirit i'm sorry the putrid tree spirit um, you don't need to go to the ones on the far end by the temple you won't take the battle that far but all the ones near the um, putrid tree spirit you do need to take out now, once you get over here, in order to activate the Putrid Tree Spirit, you just simply need to walk up into the little lake area or little waterway here, get him activated, and once he's activated, run back out and get to this little area over here and go ahead and call out your Mimic um, Summon. Your Mimic Summon is going to be your best one that you can use for this. Um, he can take a lot of uh, damage and also he can do some pretty awesome hits because it's your character. But anyway, so once you got your Mimic out, Honestly, this seems like a really weird little strategy here, but if you just run behind the wall here and you get to this little um, enclosure, this is an area that he has a lot of trouble getting to you at. The ulcerated tree spirit has a, a very difficult time actually getting to this area, and you can continue to throw out your rotten breath onto him from this spot. Now, you can't ever get um, Scarlet Rot on him, but you will continue to take away a pretty decent amount of, of his health by just simply throwing out the rotten breath. I'm not going to say this is like a perfect strategy. I'm not going to say it's going to give you a guaranteed victory, but you're going to be able to be very protected and get a lot of damage out on him um, without him really hitting you very often. So to me, this is what led me to victory. Hopefully it'll help you as well. But this is one of the more difficult uh, putrid tree spirits in the game. But if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Check out my other Elden Ring cheese and strategy videos listed up above. And as always, go out there, find a great game to play. Just simply have a great... Rest of the day.